guys! Welcome or welcome back to my channel and happy holiday! In the vibe of this fatty season, I can't stop myself from making a party outfit. That's why in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I make my Christmas dress. It's a purposely bustier mini dress, a mix between cute and sexy. So I hope it will give you some inspiration to make your own party outfit. And let's get started! The first step is making the pattern for the dress. I start making the front pattern first. I fold the paper in half, then draw a rectangle with 25cm length, which is the length from above my breast to above my belly button. It's the length that covers my butt. And 30 cm width, which is one and a half times a quarter of my bust side. At one edge of the rectangle, I mark on the width like 12 cm, which is the shoulder position for the dread that I want. And mark on the length like 8 cm, which is the length from above the butt to the middle of the bust. Then connect two marks together to have a sleeve line for the front part of the dress. At the top of the folding line, I mark down 3 cm foot. Then connect this mark to the mark on the width line. Based on this line, I draw a slightly curved line to finish the top line of the front part. From the mark on the folding line, I keep marking down 11 cm. It's a length from the top of the dress to the middle of the chest. Then connect this mark to the end of the other length line. Based on this line, I draw a slightly curved line to finish the under bust line of the front pattern. At the end of this curved line, I draw a perpendicular line to connect the end of the sleeve line. I also redraw the sleeve line after that a bit. Then add one and a half centimeter seam allowance for the pattern and we will have the top part of the front pattern after cutting. To make the bottom part of the front pattern, I fold the paper in half foot. Then I draw a perpendicular line with 18cm length. It's the quarter of my underbird side plus 1cm. From this line, I draw another line with 32cm from it. It's the quarter of my hip side plus 1 by 10 my hip side. It's also the length from under my breast to the middle of my butt. The length of this line is 23 cm, which is a quarter of my hip side. From the first perpendicular line, I keep making another one with 60 cm from it. It's the length from under my butt to above my knee where I want the length of the dress will be. After that, I connect two ends of the first two lines together. This line will cut the last one at one point, and you can see the side line of the front pattern. As I don't want the bottom of the dress too wider, I make the end of the side line a bit curved to inside. From the end of the side line, I mark up 1cm foot, then connect this mark to the other end of the folding line to finish the ending line of the front pattern. Make this line a bit curved to make it nicer. At the top of the pattern, I mark up 7cm on the folding line. It's the length from the middle of the chest to the end of the top pattern I make before that. Then connect this mark to the top of the side line. Based on this line, I draw a slightly curved line to finish the top line of the pattern. Because of this curved line, I make the top of the side line a bit curved as well. Then I add 1.5 cm seam allowance for it, except 3 cm for the ending line. And we will have the bottom part of the front pattern after cutting. To make the back pattern of the dress, I will use the front pattern. From the folding line, I draw a horizontal line at 6 cm from it first. Then I apply the front pattern to this line and copy it on the paper. However, I just copy it to the underbust line of the front pattern. So the width of the underbust line at the back pattern will be 24 cm, which is a quarter of my bust line, plus 7 cm. 
It means the total under bus line of the dress will be 84 cm, which is my bus side plus 2 cm, so I can wear the dress on later. From the top line of the back pattern, I draw another straight line at 25 cm away from it. It's the length of the top part of the front pattern that I made before. Then I mark at 30 cm on this line. It's one and a half times a quarter of my bus side. I draw a perpendicular line from that mark after that. From this mark, I mark on the straight line 12 cm, which is the position of the sleeve of the dress that I want. I mark on the perpendicular line 8 cm, which is the length from above the breast to the middle of the breast. Then connect two marks together to finish the sleeve line for the back pattern. Then I connect the end of the sleeve line to the top of the side line. After that, I make a slightly curved line for the sleeve line to make it nicer. Then adding 1.5 cm seam allowance for them. And we will have the back pattern of the dress after cutting. To make the sleeve pattern, I fold the paper in half foot. Then I draw a rectangle with 35 cm length, which is the length of the sleeve that I want, and 40 cm width, which is a half the width of the sleeve that I want. At one edge of the rectangle, I mark on the width line 12 cm, which is the position of the sleeve that I want for the dress. I mark on the length line 8 cm, which is the length from above my breast to the middle of my breast. Then connect two marks together. After that, I make this line a bit curved to finish the sleeve line for the sleeve pattern. I add 1.5 cm seam allowance for them after that. And we will have the sleeve pattern after cutting. Now, let's start making this dress. I use 2 meter of linen fabric in red color for this DIY. At the top of the front piece, I draw a curved line at 3 cm inside it first. After that, I fold the end of the top line inside around a half centimeter, then keep folding it to the curved line I just drew before that. By doing this way, I will have a fabric hole with around one centimeter width for the elastic band to go through later. At the end of the top front piece, I make a loose seam first. Then I create the gathering fabric there later. However, I just make the gathering fabric around the bust area only. Make sure the final width of the ending line will be 36 cm, which is a half of my under bust line plus 2 cm. It's also the same with the top line at the bottom part of the front dress, so you can connect them together later. I cut a 24cm elastic band, which is the width between two inside shoulders, where I want the sleeve of the dress will be. After putting the elastic band through the fabric hole, I sew two ends of it to keep it from moving. Moving to the back of the dress, I mark the position of the under bust line from the pattern to the fabric foot. Then I cut a rectangle with 2 cm width and a bit longer than the under bust line to create a fabric hole there. At the top of the back piece, I draw a curved line 3 cm inside it.
After that, I fold the end of the top line inside around a half centimeter foot, then keep folding it to the curved line just real before that to create the fabric hole for the elastic pen to go through later. After sewing, I cut a 24cm elastic band which is the width between two inside shoulder where I want the sleeve of the dress will be. For the fabric hole at the under bust line, I cut a 36cm elastic band which is the half of my under bust side. After putting the elastic band through the fabric hole, I sew two ends of them to the fabric to keep them from moving. Now I'm connecting the front and the back of the dress together at two sides and sewing. At the end of the dress, I draw a line at 6cm inside the ending line first. After that, I fold the end fabric inside around 1cm first, then keep folding it over the line just drew before it, and sewing to finish the end of the dress. Moving to the sleeve of the dress, I draw a line at 3cm inside the top line of the sleeve foot. After that, I fold the end fabric inside around a half centimeter foot, then keep folding it to the line just real before it, and sewing to create a fabric hole there. After that, I connect two underarm big lines of the sleeve together. At the end of the sleeve, I draw a line 3cm inside it first. After that, I fold the end fabric inside a half centimeter foot, then keep folding it to the line just real to create a fabric hole there. Now, I'm adding the elastic band to the top of the sleeve foot. I cut a 30cm elastic band which is two times the length from the shoulder to above my breast. For the end of the sleeve, I cut a 22cm elastic band which is the width of my arm. After putting the elastic pen through the fabric hole, don't forget to finish the end of them. And here's the sleeve of the dress. Make another piece like this. The last step is connecting the sleeve to the main body of the dress.
and I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. I love this dress so much. The red color makes it so Christmas. I hope you like this DIY and check it out. See you next week.